My name is Justin Bush and I'm the Executive Coordinator of the Washington Invasive Species Council. The council was created by the state legislature for the purpose of working across organizations toward common goals to stop the spread of invasive species and prevent the introduction of ones that are not yet here. Uh, of the species that we've looked at as a state, northern pike are one of the worst species that are currently in Washington. And I'm here today at Lake Roosevelt on the front lines of the effort to stop the spread of northern pike in the Columbia River Basin. For the first time, a lot of different organizations are coming together for the purpose of stopping northern pike collaboratively. The Colville Confederated Tribes, the Spokane Tribe of Indians, and the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife are working together. Additionally, with assistance from the Kalispell Tribe of Indians, as well as Grant Public Utility District and Chelan Public Utility District. All these different entities are supplying people, resources, equipment, and their time uh, to work together to stop Northern Pike here in Lake Roosevelt. Remnants of a rainbow trout. We know how to stop Northern Pike, but we need your help. There are a few things that you can do to help us out. The first thing is not to move live fish from one water body to another any, under any circumstance. Secondly, be familiar with Northern Pike. Know how to spot it if you reel one in. And if you do reel one in, remember to retain it, don't let it go, and to report it to the Washington Invasive Species Council. We certainly want to know about any new locations within Lake Roosevelt where they've been found, but if you find one below Grand Coulee Dam and report it, you may be reporting the very first or second fish to make it to that area. And the, the subsequent response could save millions, if not billions, in economic impacts and environmental impacts. The last thing that everyone should note is if you're fishing in Lake Roosevelt, the Colville Confederated Tribes has a bounty program for northern pike. So if you're angling for northern pike and you catch one, if you remove the head, you can turn that into the Colville Tribes and, and get $10. And so there's three different ways that anyone can help, and we really appreciate your assistance in uh, protecting the salmon and the steelhead of Washington State.